is in fact a dinosaur fossil and also an ichno fossil. It's a trace fossil of footprint. If we come and look right down here, uh, we can see that we have um, a footprint with three toes. This is made by a theropod and this animal has moved. The second footprint is right up here. And the other cool thing we can see are these nice ripples that suggest this is a shoreline environment. We're looking at kind of silts and sediments. Um, this is the Portland Formation. It's about 190 million years ago. What does that tell us? These large footprints are um, Eubrontes giganticus, which is made by uh, something like a Dilophosaurus. We don't know exactly who made it, but we can tell by the size it might have been like a Dilophosaurus, which we have drawn up here on this wall. The other one, <laughs> the other fossils that we see here are much smaller. They're three to five inches long, and these are made by Growlithe cuneatus, which would be like something small like a Compsognathus, so a small theropod dinosaur, so meat-eating dinosaur walking on two legs. It would be, you know, pretty small, up to like hip or knee height uh, for size. But this is a really cool place to come and see fossil tracks um, in person. Again, all of these are protected, but it's a great place to come and look around um, to see what those ichno fossils are. Um, they do have lots of dinosaur tracks in this area. I think it's close to around 200 individual tracks have been made. They often are moving parallel and parallel to these ripple marks, which exist these dinosaurs were moving in possibly groups, um, but parallel to the shoreline as they were moving around. Um, so again, a really cool place to come and discover uh, dinosaur footprints on your own. Um, I encourage you to get out, explore, um, and have fun. And until next time, happy learning.